Forget about colored heat maps for quantifying cyber risks. Among many weaknesses, they are ambiguous, tolerant to cognitive biases, and unable to prioritize the relative importance of risks and their mitigation strategies. Instead, with Monte Carlo simulation on top of Excel, we are able to construct smart strategies for cyber risk management. Using DT Simulator, we can build, run a Monte Carlo simulation, generate charts, and develop clever strategies for reducing cyber risks. Imagine a company that has identified 10 sources of cyber risk. For each one of them, we have quantified the frequency and the severity of each risk's potential threats. For example, the frequency of insider threat risk has been quantified with a Poisson distribution with average number of events per year of eight. This means that any number of events could happen starting from zero to many averaging eight events per year. During a simulation, random numbers are generated for this cell using such a distribution at every single scenario or iteration. The severity or impact of any single insider threat has been modeled with a PERT distribution. That allows the user to define a minimum, a most likely, and a maximum value for the monetary impact of each simulated event. PERT and triangular distributions are useful and easy to use because you only need a subject matter expert opinion without necessarily possessing hard historic data sets. In this case, the expert has deemed a minimum of $20, a most likely of $80, and a maximum financial impact of $160 per event. Now, we multiply frequency by severity to obtain the total simulated risk of insider threat. The same methodology is applied to the remaining nine types of risks. We model frequencies and severities for each risk type, and then we add them together on cell L12. Notice that on every single recalculation, the Monte Carlo simulation process generates random numbers for each of the 20 moving parts of the model. The 10 frequency distribution samples respectively multiplied by the 10 severity distribution samples to obtain the risks. This is done thousands of times during the simulation itself in order to create an output curve of total risk. After having simulated 10,000 iterations, total risk histogram looks like this. Total annual risk ranges from a minimum of $3,000 to as much as $24,000 with a mean of $10,000. The curve is, as usual in these types of aggregations, markedly asymmetric to the right. It means that there are small probabilities of extremely damaging scenarios. There's a 54% probability that total risk is under $10,000. However, there remains a 7% probability that risks will surpass $15,000, the total contingency budget allocated to cyber risk. A tornado chart allows you to quantitatively rank the relative importance of each one of the risks. In this example, the top line impacting total risk is web application attack, which is an event described with a high mean frequency of 40 events per year, even though the likelihood of individual attacks per unit is only 1%. The impact of each event has been modeled with a triangular distribution ranging from a minimum of $30, with the most likely of $50, and a maximum of $300 per event. In other words, the tornado tells you how to prioritize limited resources in the battle against cyber threats. A correlation coefficient of web application attack charted against total risk shows that when this really event catches on, it will most likely have a direct impact on total risks. This is what's measured on the correlation coefficient about 0.80 with the scatter plot. Let's include mitigation. Imagine that implementing a more robust firewall will cost $2,000. We estimate that this type of mitigation will cut in half the frequency of four types of risks. Insider threats, denial of service attacks, web application attacks, and advanced persistent threats. By adding a column for new frequencies after mitigation, we're able to refine the frequency distributions of these four attenuated risks. We run the simulation again considering the sum of all risks after mitigation and adding the cost of the firewall within the total risk formula. 
Total risk now looks like this. Mean total risk has been reduced from $10,000 to $8,700. Most importantly, however, the probability of running over a budget of $15,000 has been reduced from 7% to only 0.2%. In other words, the mitigation strategy may have the ability to limit extreme losses for the organization, not only reducing average total costs. This is done by focusing on cleverly designed mitigation strategies that allow smart prioritization of resources. Download this video and this Excel workbook with DT Simulator on top of it at dtsimulator.com.